Hallelujah. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 58. We're going to read verses 8 through 12. And I'm going to quickly give you 12 reasons to fast. 12 reasons why you should fast. We're going to have our 40-day fast come in about um, a little bit over than a, mu a month. And I want you to start preparing yourself, yourselves for those 40-day fast. Start preparing yourselves. So Isaiah 59 verse 8, it says, Then Isaiah 58 verse 8, we begin with. Then thy, all right, instead of King James Version, King James can be tricky, so. Verse 8, then your light. So uh, Isaiah 58 talks about fasting. And the Lord says, if you fast properly, these are the things that will happen. It says, then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall bring, spring forth speedily. Your, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. Then you shall cry and he will say, here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy uh, the afflicted of soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness shall be as noonday and the Lord will guide you continually and will satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones you shall be like a watered guard, uh, garden like a spring of water whose waters do not fail those from among you shall build the old waste places you shall raise up the foundation of many generations. You shall be called repairer of the breach and restorer of the streets to dwell in. You can bring in the book of the case a little bit. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Is everybody here? Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're here, shout, out, shout hallelujah. Oh, uh, come on. You look like you're hungry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Good. All right. Take your iPad, take your phone, whatever it may be. You're going to note down 12 reasons to fast. In the text that we just read, it gave us 12 reasons why you and I should fast. And I'm just going to go through the list of the reasons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, uh, and then we're going to close. And, I, and I'm going to pray for you. I feel tonight I should pray for you for grace. For those 40 day fast coming up. We are ready to 40 before 40. But I want to pray for God to give you the grace. A special grace. The Lord told me this fast. The text that the Lord gave me for this fast is the, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. So there's going to be another level of glory in this fast. Hallelujah. After this 40-day fast, you're going to see another level of glory in your life. How many of you receive it? Hallelujah. So 12 reasons to fast. Number one, to experience another level of glory. To experience another level of glory. Look at what it says. Isaiah 58 verse 8 it says, if you fast properly, like it says in the beginning of the text, it says, 
then your light shall break forth and the bottom of the text says and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard so the first reason to fast is to experience the glory of God at another level what is the glory of God the glory of God is the manifested presence of God every Christian carries the presence of God every Christian has the presence of God but every Christian does not carry the glory of God I'm gonna say it again every Christian has the presence of God because they have the Holy Spirit in inside of them but not every Christian carries the glory of God you can have the presence but the presence doesn't manifest in you God is everywhere but he doesn't manifest himself everywhere David said if I made my bed in hell you are there the God is even in the pit of hell the presence of God is there but the glory of God is not in the pit of hell he doesn't manifest himself in hell God is everywhere but he manifests himself where he is wanted he manifests himself where he is honored he manifests himself where he is worshipped so he's everywhere but he doesn't manifest himself everywhere his presence is in the life of every believer but he doesn't manifest himself in the life of every believer but once you start getting into a life of fasting where you are able to put your meals aside for a little bit to seek the presence of God then suddenly the presence of God begins to manifest in you and through you you feel different people who are around you start to sense a blessed atmosphere around you when you begin to pray the atmosphere starts to change because the glory of God begins to manifest so I declare in these 40 days coming in the name of Jesus you're going to experience the glory of God at another level hallelujah the second reason you should fast the second blessing that comes through fasting is healing look at what the verse says the verse says verse 8 your healing shall shall spring forth speedily your healing shall spring forth speedily so the second blessing of, of, of fasting is healing so when you when you uh, when you begin to fast then healing starts to manifest in you and through you healing starts to manifest in you and through you so uh, when Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights when he kept 40 nights he came out of the wilderness and suddenly healing started to flow through him so fasting is one of the ways that we attract the supernatural healing power of God and not only we're not only talking about physical healing but we are also talking about emotional healing in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 the Lord says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has appointed me to heal the broken hearted so the Lord doesn't only heal broken bones but he also healed the broken hearted so it means that if you're dealing with issues people who said things to you and did things to you that you cannot forget healing fasting is one of the ways that you can receive um, inner healing if your heart was broken through past relationships um, through past relationship with family members or with somebody that you went out with and you can never get over that situation well a 40-day fast maybe you will find healing in that time so I declare in the name of Jesus during that 40-day fast let the healing of God be manifest let you receive physical healing let you receive emotional healing let those who need to receive spiritual healing receive spiritual healing in the name of Jesus somebody say healing the third benefit of a fast is consecration the word consecration means sanctification the Lord set you apart for his glory so look at verse 8 again it says your righteousness verse 8 says and your righteousness shall go before you so when you begin to fast 
God starts to write the things that are wrong in your life the things that are wrong in your life the things that are not right the things that are not in his will he begins to uh, to right the wrongs he's begin to make things that are going wrong he caused them to go right he caused them to move the right way um, the, um if there is sin in your life the lord starts to address the sin situation there are sins in your life the only way you can break their power is through fasting if you're in this place and you're struggling with uh, um, uh, sexual sins, you're struggling with pornography, masturbation, homosexual thoughts, whatever it may be, one of the ways to break the power of these things in your life is through fasting. So it says, as you fast, it says the righteousness of the Lord will go before you. If you find yourself in moral confusion, and you don't know how to make the right choice in a 40-day fast you will receive the grace of consecration and the grace of holiness so i declare over your life in the name of jesus during those 40-day fast let the righteousness of god be manifest in your life let the holiness of god manifest in your life hallelujah let everything that is wrong be right in your life in the name of jesus if you receive it, shout, I receive it. The fourth blessing of fasting is protection. Protection. There is another level of protection that you receive when you put time aside to fast. So look at Isaiah 58 verse 8 again. The text says, the glory of the Lord. Okay, can we put the text please? The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard the glory of the lord shall be your rear god why does it say rear god because in those days soldiers used to have breastplate and the front part was usually protected however their back used to be naked so the breastplate didn't cover their uh, 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 the front um, it, it didn't cover the uh, it only covered the front it didn't cover the back so the back of a soldier was always vulnerable. So that's why when they were fi fighting, they would have other soldiers behind them because they were vulnerable in their back. But the Lord says, if you fast, it is not another man who's going to have your back. It is me who's going to have your back. My glory, my presence, my power will be your real God because I am the one who will protect you. Oh my goodness. I will protect you. I will protect you. I will protect you. I will protect you. You will not end up in crazy accidents. You will not end up in situation that will send you to jail. People will try their witchcraft on you, but it will not work. They will try to stab you, but you will disappear. They won't know where you went because the glory of the Lord is going to have your back. If you decide to fast, then you're going to receive another level of protection. Somebody shout protection. I declare in the name of Jesus, during those 40 day fast coming up, let the glory of the Lord be your real God. Let the glory of the Lord be your protection. Let the glory of the Lord cover you in the name of Jesus. The fifth blessing that comes with fasting is answered prayers. Answered prayers. If you have prayed for years and you've never had an answer to your prayer, then you need to add fasting to your prayer. I usually say that uh, fasting in itself doesn't do anything uh, fasting is an amplifier so you see right now I am speaking through an amplification system an amplification the mic you know it sends the signal um, into uh, you know processors an amplifier equalizer and they send them to the speakers and it amplifies my voice and my voice become way louder because of the amplification system fasting is an amplification system so when you fast it amplifies your prayer so that's why the bible always jesus said this kind only goes out by prayer and fasting 
it's not enough to just fast if you fast you don't pray it's like somebody who has an amplification system who has a mic but doesn't use the mic no matter how powerful the amplification system may be but if you're not talking in the mic nobody's gonna hear so it's the same thing with fasting fasting amplifies your prayer but if you're not eating you're not drinking but you're not praying then the fast has nothing to amplify are you guys with me so that's why when you're fasting you should give yourself a discipline of prayer when you're fasting you should have a regular schedule to 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 to, to pray because the fast what it does it amplifies your prayer and um, it sends your prayer way faster to heaven look at what isaiah chapter 58 verse 9 says verse 9 says then you shall call on the Lord and the Lord will answer so if you fast you will call on the Lord and the Lord will answer you will cry and he will say here I am when you're fasting as soon as you call on the Lord the Lord says here I am so fasting amplifies your voice before the throne of heaven so I declare in the name of Jesus during those 40 days coming up your voice is gonna, is gonna be amplified before the throne of heaven hallelujah let your voice be amplified in heaven let your voice be amplified before the throne of god let your voice be amplified before the presence of god number six reason why you should fast deliverance deliverance through fasting you break the power of darkness look at what isaiah 58 verse 10 says Isaiah 58 verse 10 it says that if you fast then it says your light shall dawn in darkness your life shall dawn in darkness and then it says your darkness shall be as noonday so if you fast darkness will not have power over you in the midst of your darkness light will dawn in your dark darkness and even the, the the deepest darkness will brighten like noonday so when you're a fasting person the powers of darkness do not have authority over you the powers that work in darkness the powers that work in the night the powers that work in obscurity they will not have authority over light over you because your darkness will turn into light in the name of Jesus so I declare in the name of Jesus during the 40 days the powers of darkness the forces of darkness the forces of the night will not have authority over you in the name of Jesus your light will chase away darkness your light shall chase away darkness your light shall chase away darkness your light shall chase away the power of darkness in the name of Jesus now I need to tell you this when we talk about your light chasing away the power of darkness it is not simply a metaphor it is a spiritual reality it is a spiritual reality it People who are able to see in the spirit realm they will tell you right like around here in a person the uh, the more you pray the more your spiritual light starts to glow and people who operate in the physical realm they don't see this but people who operate in the spirit realm those who practice witchcraft and sorcery and new age practitioners they will tell you that people carry light around them a believer especially a believer you have a light in you and around you and the more you pray the brighter that light becomes and what does light do it chases away darkness before we came here the lights were off and darkness was all over this place but as soon as they turned on the light it chased away the darkness when you fast the light that is in you becomes brighter and brighter and when that lights become brighter the f that light in you chases away the power of darkness it chases away the forces of darkness it chases away the forces of the night in the name of Jesus so I declare during those 40 days your light is gonna shine 
in the name of Jesus if you receive it say I receive it the sixth benefit the seventh benefit of fasting number seven why you should fast guidance when you fast guidance look at verse 11 verse 11 says the Lord will guide you continually the Lord will guide you continually so if you fast and you fast the right way the Lord will guide you continually so it means that there are things that before you enter the fast maybe right now there are things that you don't understand but as you enter the fast and you start to fast seriously and pray and spend time in the presence of God suddenly things that were mysterious to you obscure to you that you didn't understand you didn't know how to solve them suddenly it's gonna look like suddenly you understand suddenly you know what to do suddenly you know how to handle it are you guys with me all right hallelujah suddenly you receive a revelation has it ever happened to you in a prayer in your prayer time that the lord said something to you and when he said it to you you have the impression when he said it it is as if your eyes became open anybody had that experience it is as if your eyes were closed and it became open it's like it's, you have a feeling like you just woke up amen hallelujah the lord will guide you like that um you know uh, when you fast you start to receive revelations there is a difference between your own understanding and revelation um sometimes people people ask me how do i know that i have heard the voice of god or that i have received the message from uh, that I've, that I've heard the voice of God. Well, one of the ways that you'll know is that your voice and the voice of God do not operate the same way. When you're talking in your head, your voice, you said, okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, if I want to get here by 9 o'clock, then I know I live about an hour from here, then I'm going to need to take the bus, so then I need to take the bus at 7 o'clock. Then I'm going to need to wait. That's when you, you're talking. When you're talking, it seems to be a conversation thoughts that lead to thoughts, 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 thoughts that lead to thoughts. Generally, when it's the voice of God, it's like, it's like something was dropped into your spirit. You don't know where it came from. Has anybody ever had that experience where something just dropped into you out of nowhere it, it's not you thinking it if i do this it's out of nowhere it's like it shows up are you guys with me so that's a difference between your voice and the voice of god that's why the bible often says suddenly 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 so usually when the voice of god speak it's more something that dropped into your spirit rather than a process are you guys with me are you guys with me but when you start fasting you start to receive those droplets of revelation more frequently. They start to be more frequent. They start to be more powerful. They start, uh, 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 you know, the, the frequency starts to happen more. You know, you start to get more of these things. So as you fast, the Lord guides you. Hallelujah. May the Lord guide you during your 40-day fast. May you receive guidance in every area of your life. May you receive guidance in every area of your life. May you receive guidance in every area of your life. Number eight. Reason why you should fast. Eight blessing of fasting. Look at verse 11 again. It says, not only the Lord will guide you, but it says, and satisfy your soul. So the, 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 eighth, reason, the eighth benefit of fasting is spiritual satisfaction. Suddenly. The Lord will satisfy your soul, satisfy your soul. So, 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 so in your spiritual life, sometimes you feel empty. You feel like I'm hungry for God. 
I want another level. I want another dimension. I want to know him more. So if you are that kind of person who feel, man, I feel I need more of God. I'm hungry for God. I'm hungry for the presence of God. Then that's what fasting will do. Fasting is going to bring satisfaction to your soul. God is going to give you a greater level of his presence. May the Lord satisfy your soul. During those 40 day fast, may he satisfy your soul. During his 40 day fast, may he satisfy your soul. In the name of Jesus. The ninth blessing of fasting. Rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. In other words, the Lord makes you younger. He gives you strength. He gives you physical strength. Look at what the text says. Not only it says he will satisfy your soul in drought, but it says he will strengthen your bones. When you become older, your bones start to get weak. But the Bible says if you will fast, then the Lord will begin to strengthen your bones. The Lord will give you physical strength in the name of Jesus. Are you guys with me? Um, you don't lose strength when you fast. You gain strength when you fast you may feel weak for a little bit but after a while you're gonna be rejuvenated in the name of jesus if you put the meat aside for a little bit if you beat the putting the you know eating every day aside for a little bit yes while you're fasting especially the second day you might feel a little bit weak but you're gonna come out stronger you're gonna come out younger you're gonna come out with the spirit of might and strength resting over your life may the lord give you his spirit of might May the Lord give you his spirit of strength. May the Lord strengthen your bones. May the Lord rejuvenate you during those 40 days of fasting. Somebody shout glory. The tenth blessing of fasting, tenth reason why you should fast is provision. Supernatural provision comes through fasting. Look at what verse says, 11 says. Not only it says the Lord will guide you continually. Not only it says he will satisfy you in drought. Not only it says it will strengthen your bones. But look at what it says. It says you shall be like a watered garden. What does a garden want more than anything else? Water. What does a plant want more than anything else? Water. The Lord says if you will fast, then you will become a watered garden garden in other words you'll prosper you will be blessed provisions will come from everywhere and if everything that you need will satisfy that's why in psalm 1 chapter 1 in psalm 1 the bible likens the righteous to a tree planted by streams of water and the bible says everything that he does prospers so i declare in the name of jesus as you fast during those 40 days that are coming up you will be a watered garden in the name of Jesus. The Lord will provide for your every need. Your need will be provided for from the east to the west, the north and the south in the name of Jesus Christ. Doors will be open. Doors of favor will be open. Doors of favor will be open. Doors of favor will be open over your business, over your family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 11th. 11th reason why you should fast look at what the text says so you can be a blessing when you fast not only you are blessed but you turn into a blessing so it means that everybody who's connected to you ended up being blessed because of you so look at what the text says it says not only you shall be a watered garden and then it says you will be like a spring of water a spring of water waters the entire area a spring of water waters the entire garden a spring of water can turn into a river that 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 uh, uh, you know nourishes the entire country the bible says if you will fast not only you will be a watered ga garden but you will turn into a spring of water you will be a blessing to other people you will bless them financially you will bless them spiritually you will bless them emotionally you will bless them 
intellectually you will be a spring of water so I declare in the name of Jesus during those 40 days coming up you will be a spring of water in the name of Jesus you will be a blessing for everybody around you you will be a blessing for your family you will be a blessing for your children you will be a blessing for your parents you will be a blessing for your friend you will be a blessing for your community and your country in the name of Jesus somebody shout glory the 12th blessing of fasting look at what the Bible says it says verse 12 it says those among you shall build the old waste places and it says you shall raise the foundation of many generations and then it says you shall be a repairer of breach and a restorer of streets to dwell in the Bible says if you will fast you will become a repairer and you will become or restorer so the 12th blessing of fasting is restoration you will become an instrument of restoration so you will walk into broken situation and they will become whole because of your presence you will walk into broken friendships but you will say a word and the, the friendship will be restored you will walk into a marriage that is about to fall apart and the Lord is gonna give you one word of advice and with that one of advice everything is going to change you're gonna step into a ministry that was about to fall apart and you're gonna come into that ministry and start volunteering and suddenly that ministry will come together you will walk into a business that was about to go bankrupt and your presence is gonna restore everything so I declare that the grace of restoration is gonna rest over your life the grace of restoration will rest over your life the grace of restoration will rest over your life in the mighty name of Jesus.